All right. Uh, take the bolt out first. Do that. Pull the trigger, and the bolt will slide right out. Take that apart. Next time, I'll film that separately. To get these rings off, you push down on that, and then slide it off. Actually, you know what? It's easier if you take the cleaning rod out first. And then same thing with this back ring. Push down on that and the back ring will slide off. Now, sight's in the way, so you need to remove the sight to get these off. Um, that's all there is to it, or you can leave it and deal with it. And that comes off. And take the magazine out, push this lever back, lift that, and then squeeze this apart. So what that does is it opens that up to come off of that, that pin in there. That's that. Then you got one screw here on the bottom. It's actually pretty simple, quick rifle to take apart. And then you got one screw. Nah, nah, I got no more screw for that. And then you pull this screw here. Which is a little longer than the one from the bottom. And then you can pull your trigger guard and magazine out. And then your barrel assembly and receiver comes out. And that leaves your stock. Two screws to get the butt plate off, that's nothing. The only thing on here to get the trigger out, then you need a punch to pop that pin out, and then the trigger will come off. Then this screw will remove the trigger spring. And then your extractor or ejector, sorry, is this screw here, it goes through to here. And then you've got your extractor inside, ejector, sorry. Um, and that's that. And I don't have the rear sight, so I can't do anything with that. I need to get a rear sight. The metal's pitted pretty bad over here. Back here, it's pretty ugly, but not a whole lot I can do about it. But this is why I'm going to blue it, because you get a little rust underneath where you can't get to things. So rather than have it rusting, I'm going to blue it instead of leaving it this cool gray color. That's it for now. That's all I got.